Hey everybody, so here's a little late night video because I can't sleep about uh, five things you can do to make money during this coronavirus pandemic. I know it's trying times for a lot of people. A lot of people are either working from home and not making the same money they would be going to work or maybe you're in an industry that laid you off and you are not making money, period. These are rough times for everybody. Whether you're a musician or not a musician in the service industry, not in the service industry, whatever, maybe you just want to make a couple extra bucks during this time, uh, minimize your risk. So um, make a little list of five things. First is to go shopping for people. Now, I understand I just said let's keep things, minimize our risk, and try and not get sick. If you live at least in, in, in New York, like where I live, a lot of people live in apartment buildings, there's... Even if they have the money to stockpile food and, and goods that they'll need for a long period of time, they don't have the space. So some people, I guess, do have toilet paper stacked up in their living room. A lot of people just don't, you know, especially food. You can't, there's only so much food you can keep before it spoils if you don't have the space to keep canned goods or, you know, unspoilable, non spoil uh, products. I don't know, whatever. So people are going to have to go grocery shopping. We want to stay away from groups during this time. So what I would recommend is if you live in an area where you're close to your neighbors or like close, like you talk to them or close even living in proximity, like an apartment building or something or a, a block with a lot of little houses, not you know wide open spaces, maybe make a few phone calls, make a few texts, get a shopping list together from different people. They can. They don't even have to give you cash. Maybe they can Venmo or PayPal you the money, or uh, you know Zelle or something, uh, digital digital currency, whatever. However you want to look at it, and uh, you know get the money from them. Get a shopping list. Uh, get a cart or a car or a skateboard, hand truck with milk crate, something where you can carry lots more than just the bags in your hands, and that'll also help you if you're buying in bulk. You know, if somebody you're somebody that goes to a BJ's or a Costco, maybe you don't need. 10 cartons of milk, uh, you know, I haven't been to a Costco in forever, whatever, they pallets of stuff, maybe you don't need that, but maybe your apartment building does, and that would save everyone a little bit of money buying in bulk, it would be in one trip for one person, so there's not 10 people going there, so you're not in groups, you're not contaminating each other, so long as the store is clean, and you kind of keep yourself clean with gloves and masks and whatever you want to do, and, uh, you know, just tell people to give you the money for the goods that you're going to buy, and you'll drop it off. You could leave it at their door. Like I said, there's not an exchange of cash. And say, just give me a couple extra bucks. You know, if it's uh, like a delivery fee of three, five bucks, like a tip or $10 or whatever. If you get 10 people to give you five bucks, that's 50 bucks. And that might pay for your groceries, which works out. All you got to do is get to the grocery store and get back. And that's worth it for a lot of people, especially the elderly that might not be able to be as mobile to get to the store. Or, or strong to carry the stuff they do need or people with children uh, that need to watch their kids that don't want to take their kids out you'd be doing them a favor uh, yes you're putting yourself at a little bit of risk but if you have to go anyway you might as well help out your neighbor and you know make a few bucks uh, everyone would love to say help out a neighbor for free but you know if you, that's your choice but let's say you need a couple bucks like I said, you get 10 people, they all give you $2, that's $20, and that could pay for your groceries. And if you don't have a job right now, that makes a difference. Uh, number two on my list is uh, pet care, which I mean, you know, a lot of people have dogs that have to go to the bathroom. Obviously, uh, some are potty trained or wee wee pads or whatever you want to call them. not potty trained, but paper trained. <laughs> Uh, actually, there are probably a lot of cats that are potty trained, but paper trained, so they go in the house. Some pets need to go for walks, you know, just not only just to use the bathroom, you know, especially the bigger dogs, they need to get exercise so they don't terrorize the house, chew things, run around. You know, dogs need exercise, animals need exercise. Again, a lot of people, you know, don't want to go outside, and normally they would walk their own dog, so they don't have their own dog walker. But now during this time, they need somebody to walk their dog. They don't want to go out. And again, if you live in an apartment building or some kind of community where a lot of people have pets and not all these people want to go outside, get on a text chat or a, 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 you know phone calls or, or a t group text or whatever. Like I said, you don't even have to exchange money or, or really touch things or each other. You could do it digitally and just 
you know, pick up the dogs, take them for a walk. If you do them one at a time, obviously you want to do them in groups to save time uh, and exposure. But even if you do them one at a time, um, it would help people out. And, you know, dogs got to get walked two, sometimes three times a day. Um, it, it's, you know, just have a, you don't have to be making a killing, but somebody could throw you a couple bucks for your service because it is a service for them. It does help them out. And, you know, things add up. A, a little, you don't, you don't have to knock someone over the head, but a little here and there might keep you, keep your head above water while you're waiting for that unemployment check or that next job or whatever. Uh, number three, to clean. Be, be a, a, a clean person. You know, obviously we, we want to clean for ourselves, uh, keep our spaces clean, keep our minds clean. But, you know, in, in this environment where there's bacteria going around and stuff, we want to be extra clean, extra disinfectants uh, using different products, um, you know, alcohol with water, bleach with water, d different, different cleaning products in different ways. Uh, and people go through a lot of cleaning products, which leads me back to point one where you need to buy these products. But if you can buy these products for yourself in bulk or a lot of them and offer yourself as a, as a cleaning service, whether it be in a car in a house, a lot of businesses, public spaces are doing more cleaning than normal. They might need an extra cleaning person. Um, yes, again, it puts yourself at a little bit of risk to be out there, but you're kind of cleaning. So if you take care of yourself and you clean other things, you should be okay. You know, it depends how brave you are. But a lot of people too, like I said, elderly people or, or, or people with kids and, and, or, or pets or that or people that are working at this time, even though they're working at home, they're still working. They don't really have time to clean up and take care of things, but they're living in their houses more than they would if they went to work. So they're kind of accumulating more of, maybe not a mess, but messy stuff, dishes, or, or just, just things, clothes, laundry. You know, if you could offer yourself available to show up and do some cleaning, whether it's vacuuming, organizing, laundry, if you could take clothes to, to the laundry for people or just do them, it, it'll be a great help to people that need that service and it'll be it'll keep, keep put a little money in your pocket and keep you busy as well you know something like laundry maybe we don't do as much right now because we're just wearing sweatpants all day but we all need to do laundry so instead of 10 people being in a laundromat maybe one person can make a couple trips uh, and make that you know your job for a day and put a couple bucks in your pocket at least it'll pay for your own laundry uh, number four if you live, if you have a car and you live in a state where you don't need a special license to be an Uber driver, maybe now's the time to sign up. Uh, I know a lot of people that were driving Uber have stopped due to fears of, of contamination and getting sick. Uh, of course, this is risky because you're putting yourself in, in, in risk of getting sick, but people still do have emergencies. They still need to get around. Um, Uber is still a good thing. Just take some precautions with your car, have disinfecting wipes available for you, but maybe in the back seat as well. Um, maybe some baby wipes or alcohol pads that are not chemicals like Lysol, but alcohol pads for people to wipe their hands that are a little safer for humans, you know, rather than chemicals. Sprays, disinfectant sprays. I took an Uber today where the gentleman that drove me took almost like a see-through plastic tarp and hung it up in his car uh, just to prevent a little bit of, of contamination between the back seat and the front seat, not just for his own safety, but the passenger safety as well. And it wasn't a problem hearing him or hearing the music. And uh, it was see-through, so you could still see what's going on. It's not putting you in danger of not knowing what's going on in the back seat. And that I thought was a really good idea. You could get Saran Wrap or Reynolds Wrap, especially if you go to Costco or BJ's or some, some kind of big supplier in bulk. and if you, you know, wrap your seats uh, with some tape and plastic, this way you could just scoop it up at the end of a ride or the end of a night or day or whatever and throw it in the garbage. So it's a little less disinfecting on the cloth itself or leather of your seats. Um, that's a good idea. People need rides. Uh, again, like, you know, we don't want to put ourselves in harm's way, but people still need these services. So, you know, if, if you put a little work in, to be a little extra safe, you can still provide these services and make a couple extra bucks. Uh, finally, number five in my list here is, uh, this especially goes for musicians, but this goes for anyone with a, a smile, really, is you can make personal videos for people. 
I don't know much about Cameo, but it's an app where you pay a celebrity some money and they give you a personal video, a shout out, happy birthday, something like that with your name. You know, people still have birthdays and maybe they're not having birthday parties. So, you know, if you're a musician, for example, or a singer or a guitar player, piano player, maybe you play them a personalized happy birthday message. You could do that from the comfort of your own home. You could use your cell phone, but a little more than just a selfie cell phone. Maybe set up the camera, set up some lights, maybe set up some streamers. Give them something that makes them feel a little special. You know, use their name, sing them a song, some lights, some candles. Uh, it doesn't really put you at risk because you're home and it would be nice for somebody to experience that. Uh, again, you know, it would be nice to say just do that for somebody for free, which you could do, but this video is about how to make a couple extra bucks during these trying times. And again, it's not like, you know, you're charging people a, a ton of money. If uh, you just set up a Venmo account or something and, um, you know, it's five bucks or ten bucks for a little personalized video. You know, it's more about making people feel good and lifting their spirits. Because a lot of people are kind of bummed out right now. I know myself included. You know, it's kind of like why we go out to shows and Broadway and, and concerts and bars. We spend money to not just entertain ourselves, but to to feel good and be with our friends and put a smile on our face and, and kind of um, remind us that there are things to smile about, not just to be sad about. So if you could find a way to, to create some kind of little personal entertainment for people um, to make them feel good, I'm pretty sure they'll be, they'll be glad to pay a couple bucks for that. And uh, the more you do, the more you make. It just might be enough you know, to, to bridge that gap between jobs. So, uh, you know, hopefully everyone is, is doing well and being safe. And um, this will all blow over soon, guys. I mean, uh, it doesn't stay dark forever, you know.